Hi y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen and today I'll be making y'all some hot, spicy chili with beans, chili beans. And what I'll be using, I'll be using some um, brown sugar. I'll also be using two types of uh, chili powder. I have the mild and the hot, two types. I have some uh, kidney beans, bush. I have some spicy tomato. I have some petite, uh, chopped uh, tomatoes. Here's some tomato juice. Here's a little oil. Here's my garlic, chopped garlic, some garlic. And my green peppers, bell peppers, chopped. Here's my jalapeno pepper, chopped. And I have an onion, I got those chopped. I got a red onion, I have these chopped. And these are green onions. And these are uh, the, uh, the vegetable I'll be using. And I also will be using, I don't know whether I said this, 80% uh, of ground beef. And this is how many pounds? This is two and a half pounds of ground beef. And I also will be using, for my dry, I have pepper, salt, uh, um, minced garlic, uh, crushed red pepper, paprika, and here's some of uh, garlic uh, powder, and also I have some uh, bay leaves. Those are things I'll be using. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is put these, my vegetables in here, some of them, because I have more too. These are onions, the red onions, the garlic, and the green peppers, bell peppers. I'm gonna put these some of here. I'm gonna save them some of them. It doesn't matter on this right here, how uh, big they are, because they're gonna, they're gonna cook with everything. Here's my onion. This is a yellow onion. Put me some in here. I'm gonna put my meat in here. Let the meat uh, season with this. So the, uh, the flavors will come up. So when you're doing this with this, put me put a little oil. I use some oil. Just a little oil. And I'm gonna let these fry a little bit. And put my garlic in here. Put it down low and let them kind of you know, cook a little bit. And after they get cooked, they smell so good, honey. You don't let this flavor your meat. If you want some good spaghetti, lasagna, and um, chili, or any kind of hamburger meat, if you're going to use vegetables in it, always kind of let the uh, vegetables get a much cook on it, and then put the meat in, and then that flavor is going to go into your meat, too. You don't cook them all the way, just let them cook a little bit. Start putting meat in here. Make your meat up. And after you put your meat in here, you're going to break it up and work it in. You put your seasoning in here. You have to make sure that it's going to taste really, really good. These are chilly. I'm getting, re getting ready for the morning time. The football games and a meal. You can make this chili on there and put the beans in there and have your crackers and your, your toast and any kind of bread you want. Okay. And I'm going to stir this up. As I get these special cook in here, I'm going to start seasoning. Once I, once I get half done, I'm not going to season it. Everything when the meat is not done. With the, uh, the vegetables and the spices. You want to cook with the meat. Okay, I'm gonna get back with you when it's kind of cooked. Okay, y'all, my meat has cooked with the vegetable in it. Now I'm going to season my meat so we can get that taste too. So I, I just first thing I'm gonna use is some garlic powder. What I do, and like I told you, I go all around my. Uh, Food and that's let me know. I never over that. It works out really good. That's the garlic powder. Here is some paprika. This is going to be some good because uh, I got a lot of season going in that paprika. Here's some pepper. I'm going to stir this up once I get all the uh, season. I go all around it. And here's the salt. And the salt. Uh, oh, 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 not fell out of that, but I'm glad it didn't get all over. I got to stir this up. And here's some uh, my uh, red pepper. Because this is going to be spicy and uh, kind of hot. This chili. It is going to be really, really good. Put some of this over it. 
Okay, and I'm gonna let this cook, season this meat, and all those spices I just put in here, I'm gonna let them season the meat, and then I'm gonna drain the meat, and I'm gonna start adding my liquid and my other spices to it. And let this cook to some of this vegetable. Like I say, it doesn't matter how big the vegetables are because sometimes when I'm eating food with vegetables, I can add green peppers, onions, and uh, bell peppers and stuff. And I like to see my vegetables. Like if I got spaghetti, I don't mind seeing my peppers and the onions. That make me just want to eat it even more. So I cut mine's kind of big always because like I say, they ain't going to cook away. You know, the chili going to cook by two hours for it to be good. Okay, then I'm going to drain this and I'm going to get back with you when I get ready to put it in the pot. To go. And I also cook my chili, my spaghetti, my beans, my greens. I cook them in the oven. And the reason because of that is that you won't have to watch them. They won't burn and you can just let them cook. You can put, adjust the temperature to what you want and they will not burn or stick. And they cook, you know, they, they, they take a little longer, maybe 30 minutes longer, but it's still, you don't have to worry about jumping up and it's sticking or burning. Okay, I'll get back with you all. Okay, my meat has cooked with the vegetables in it and also, I drained it really good and I put it in that. First thing I add is tomato juice. Some people, it's the same as sauce, but I found out the tomato juice give a better flavor. You know, try that, you know, I like that a little better. And I'm gonna put enough tomato juice in there to how much uh, sauce I want for my chili. You know, how loose I want it. So that's what you're gonna do because this is gonna cook for about two hours until your vegetables kind of disappear and stuff. So, but I'll be adding tomato sauce. Like I say, I use the juice. Try the juice and see how you like it. The juice is seasoned pretty good. So next thing I'm gonna do, I have, uh, I'm gonna add uh, some petite diced tomatoes. I'm gonna put all of these in here. This whole can. Yep. This is a medium sized can. They have a small one, then they have the extra large, but I put all of these in here. And next I'm gonna put in some, uh, these are tomatoes, uh, cooked uh, diced tomatoes with green uh, chives. I'm putting that in there. Some of this in here. Let's see. This is going to be good. Okay. And what I do, I'm going to put all my seasons. That same season I use for my meat, I put a little bit in here so my meat and all and my sauce can taste good. I'm going to put some, this paprika, go around it the same way. The only thing that you don't add much is salt because you can add season. You're not gonna mess up the season. You can add that, but don't add too much salt. So this is some um, red crushed peppers. I want, like I said, this is gonna be spicy and mild and tangy. And here's some black pepper. I'm gonna put it around it, go all the way around it. I'm gonna put some garlic. Powder, garlic powder. I also have fresh garlic. And like I said, I'll be adding those vegetables back in it. And then I'm gonna add, okay, I'm gonna add my chili. This is uh this is my hot, hot chili. I use a pack. And I'm also gonna use mild chili. Hot and, I use a pack of mild and a pack of hot. And here's the mild. And chili is a thing that you're gonna put because you are making chili. Stir that up good. This is going to be so good. I can smell it. It's not cooking because, like I said, I cook mine in the oven. So, I got all my dry ingredients. What I'm going to use now is a little brown sugar to give it that uh, that a uh, good taste. Because tomato have acid in it, you know, and it makes stuff just a little, it makes stuff kind of, you know, we have to put sugar in it to turn the acid down from the tomatoes. So I got all my guac. I got my salt. I'm gonna see that put salt in there. I might have put some, but I'm not gonna put but a little bit. I don't know whether I put it in there or not. But I'll just put and I'll taste it later. See how much salt I need. I know I put the pepper, the garlic uh, powder, the hot pepper, and the paprika. And I had some chili powder. I used the hot and the mild and some brown sugar. Now I'm gonna put a few vegetables in here. All the vegetables I use for the uh, for the meat, I'm gonna put them a little bit in here, just a little bit, because I want to season. I want this to season in. Like I say, these uh, this hot and spicy uh, chili. It's not really, really hot, but I mean, it's kind of hot. And if you don't want it so hot, don't add the uh, the hot uh, chili 
uh, use the mild. And I'm gonna put, and you don't have to put the jalapeno peppers in there. I need to put a few of these in here. Let it cook. This is gonna cook about two hours until all the vegetables kind of disappear. And I'm gonna take one or two of these out. I don't know how hot these are. And so I'm gonna put some uh, some green peppers in here. Look, your green peppers so the vegetable can cook with it. And we're also gonna put some uh, thyme. Take and break the leaves. Uh, some thyme in here. A little bit more time. Okay, I'm gonna stir this up. This is what you call chili, y'all. Add a little bit more tomato juice. I'm gonna set mine in the oven so it won't burn. See, because when you, like I said, when you put stuff in the oven, you can let it just go and cook and, you know, just come back and check on it because it's not going to burn. And most likely, see all this juice I got? That most likely chili going to be just that thick. That's how thick it's going to be because the water is going to, it's just going to make a little bit more juice. It's not going to cook out. I think I got everything in there to make this taste good. Everything. Let me see what I can put in here. Let me taste a little of this. Let's see. Mmm. This is good. Mm. I put it spicy, honey. Mm, it's really good. Put a little chili in there. I mean, juice, tomato juice. I don't need nothing in there. It's hot. It's kind of hot, too. And I'm going to put, um, I got everything I need. I'm going to put a top on this and set this in the oven. I got my oven heated to 370. It's between 350 uh, to 370. Don't have it cooking you know, no higher, but I'm gonna use 370. I might turn it down to 350. But I'm gonna get back with you all. Oh boy, this looks so good, y'all. I just took it out the uh, oven. It's been here cooking for about an hour, probably about 15 minutes. See how the vegetable cook, that looks like chili. And I'm not finished with it. I mean, it really looks good. See how the vegetables are? You can have your vegetable, because when I'm eating something, here's the jalapeno pepper, and I got it over here. I took some of uh, out and let it cool. Let me see how it tastes. I know it's good. Mmm. Don't need no more spice. Mm. I don't need maybe a little salt. I don't need nothing to me. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. You can look at this and tell this is so good. Mm. What I'm gonna do now, I took my chili beans out and I drained them. I'm gonna put them in here and let them cook until the chili beans get a little, you know, tender, until they get done. I'm gonna put them in here with these two bay leaves in them. I'm gonna put these in here. That's all I need. I, I might, I don't know nothing else that I need. And I don't like too many chili beans. You see how good that look, y'all? I'm going to let the chili bean get done. That's enough for me. Just a few chili beans because I want to taste my meat and my sauce. Oh, that's so good. I mean, that looks good. Okay, I'm going to put it in and let it cook. I'm going to see what I... I might put a little more chili powder. Just a little chili powder. I don't see because it tastes... It, it is so good. Be careful with this. Put just a little chili powder in there. Go across it. And like I said, it's spicy. It, it is so good. Let me see what else I can put in here. I really don't know nothing else because it is so good. Chili beans, they got to cook now. That's going to give it a little bit more flavor. Okay, I'm going to put these back in the oven and let them cook for about another hour, and I'll be ready to serve it. Yeah, here it is. It's been in the oven. It cooked the chili beans. The beans has cooked. The candy beans cooked. And this is how it look out the stove. I got I to gotta get those bay leaves out. I got a couple of bay leaves in there, but this is so good, and it tastes so good. So delicious with the vegetables and chili. And chili and it's spicy and hot. Spicy and hot. So I hope you enjoy. 
Thank you all for tuning in into Maddie's Kitchen, and I hope you all enjoyed my presentation of some chili, some tangy, spicy, hot chili. I hope you enjoyed it. Share it with friends and family. And if you enjoyed this video, tune into the next one that's coming up. Thank you once again and have a great day.